After last week's loss to Bray Alinda, the Brahmas smashed their way onto the field looking to get a win in their first league game. But it would definitely be a tough task as the 2010 Hacienda League champions, the West Covina Bulldogs, are also looking to repeat as league champions in 2011. With opening possession in the game, the Brahmas running back Jamal Clayton on the pitch runs to the outside and then cuts back to the inside to get to the 40-yard line. Several plays later, the Brahmas elect to go for the 47-yard field goal attempt as the Brahmas kicker nails it and Diamond Bar takes an early lead 3-0 with 8-19 left in the first quarter. West Covina quickly answers back as running back Chris Solomon runs to the left side, up the sideline and into the end zone to score on the 31-yard touchdown to cap an eight-play, 80-yard drive and put the Bulldogs in the lead in the first quarter. In the second quarter on fourth and five, West Covina is ready to punt the ball, but when kicker Aaron Salgado is also a running back, he can run like the wind and on this trick play picks up major yards to get the first down and keep the Bulldogs' drive alive. Three plays later, Bulldogs quarterback Chris Caballero fakes the handoff and runs the ball from four yards out to score the touchdown. And the Bulldogs lead is 14-3 with 2.48 remaining in the first half. Still in the second quarter, Brahma's quarterback Henry Omana rolls to his right and throws a pass that's picked off by West Covina's Gus Vilches at the Brahma's 42. West Covina capitalizes on the turnover as running back Chris Solomon barrels up the middle and forces his way into the end zone to score the touchdown from five yards out and the Bulldogs take a 21-3 lead going into halftime. In the third quarter, the Brahmas faithful had reason to cheer as quarterback Henry Omana throws one of his amazing signature passes to a wide open George Katrib who hauls it in 40 yards for the touchdown. And Diamond Bar would trail West Covina 21-10. On third and three from the Diamond Bar 46, Bulldogs running back Chris Solomon once again shows off his talent as he runs the ball up the middle, breaking through tackles and runs it in for the touchdown. Diamond Bar would get into scoring position once again in the fourth quarter and quarterback Henry Omana throws a beautiful spiral pass to his left side and hits wide receiver George Katrib who is at the corner of the end zone to make the catch for the touchdown. It wouldn't be enough as West Covina would score again and the defending champs would go on to win the game and improve the record to 4-2 overall and 1-0 in league. And the Brahma's record is now 2-3 overall and 0-1 in league. We had a chance to talk to the head coach of West Covina after the game, and here's what he had to say. That makes it easy. Solomon seems to be getting in the mix a lot more lately. Yeah, he's getting a little healthier each week and a little better in shape. And, um, and then, yeah, he's close to 100%. He's still not where he was, but you know, he's he uh, him at 80% is pretty good still. Three touchdowns is pretty good. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't know who has him. Uh, and then defensively, did you guys know that they were going to pass all night, or? Yeah, we figured they were going to. They're passing team first and. And uh, the quarterback does a great job. He's a, he's very, he's very good. He, he's mobile. He can move around. And, and 17s is as good a receiver in the, in the area that, that there is in the area. So we knew they were going to pass. We, I thought we did a really good job in the, in the first half um, on defense. And then yeah, they got a couple things going in the second half. It got gave gave up an easy one um, just on a scheme thing. We I'll see you over coverage. Here. You you hate to do that because you want to make it work for it. Do you have anything in but, there? But uh, overall, I'm happy with the effort. Right, and it's great to do one another. I'll go check. Right. Yeah, Coach, going back to the uh, Bonita, the CIF game, you guys have had a ton of snow biters. Yeah. I was, mean, how does it feel to get on top and, and kind of control the game a little bit? It was uh, it was nice. and It was unexpected. I didn't know what, what to expect coming in here. We haven't really – we have some had some guys out, and we have some younger kids that have had to step up, and, and um, I'm happy with the way they played. It's, it's a lot nicer. You know, we've, we've won three games in the last – play of the game and, and it's, uh, it's a lot a lot a lot easier on the uh, on the heart and nerves um, winning this way was that that fake punt something you guys saw early in the week studying film or is it just like a down and distance we, thing? we saw uh, we, we I saw we saw it on film uh, Corey Tello does our special teams and he we both uh, thought it might work we, when you have a guy like Aaron, Aaron Salgado punting he's a pretty explosive running back so it, it's a dual threat now it, it, hopefully it keeps teams a, a little bit more um, um, honest in terms of the punt, uh, blocking the punt, so it worked out well for us. 